Preface In order to reach the most audience, I have decided that it is best to make this video in English. For Thai viewers, please turn on the Thai subtitles on YouTube. I'll add them soon. Probably. Maybe? Do you ever visit your local arcade? What rhythm games do you find? Is it the all-time classic DDR? It's Korean rip-off, uh, I mean counterpart bump it up? Smaller futuristic caps like Sound Voltex? Or this thing that looks like a washing machine? Well, if you're lucky, your local arcade might host one of these unfamiliar cabinets. Or if you spend enough time on YouTube, you might have come across certain types of dance videos, like this one. This is Dance Rush Stardom, one of Konami's latest rhythm games, which, unlike DDR, is based on freestyling, primarily with shuffle dance. With its large LED stepping pad plus built-in cameras, Dance Rush offers a more lenient gameplay where the focus is not just getting high score, but also performing actual dance by stepping, sliding, jumping, or pretty much whatever you can come up with. The game has entered its fourth year, with three biggest competitions held in Japan and ever-growing player communities in various parts of the world. Unfortunately, while some people are not afraid to jump right onto the pad and experiment, others may be intimidated by the lack of arrows and its user interface. How am I supposed to play this? Where should I step on? How does this menu work? Such a shame that a game which is supposed to be more beginner-friendly than DDR still fails to attract a larger audience. Therefore, I believe it's time, well, it's way past time, to make a complete beginner's guide for all of you. I hope that once you watch this guide slash tutorial, you will no longer be afraid to give this game a try, because it really is so damn fun! For regular players, I'm not sure whether you'll find this guide helpful or not. You probably know much of this game already, or not. You might be missing something and this guide may help you understand this game even better. So, feel free to leave a comment or share this to any newcomers. And without further ado, please enjoy! Yo, what's up everyone? This is me, Keshiki. If you've been following my channel, you probably know me and know what Dance Rush is. In case you don't, for your information, I was one of the finalists of the 9th KEC, which was the biggest competition for this game. So, today, I would like to teach you everything that you need to know if you're still new to Dance Rush Stardom. Let's get right on! Be sure to check how many credits you need. The price for each play also depends on your location. Here in Thailand, if you play at Echo or X10, Game Center, it currently takes 3 credits for light mode and 4 for standard mode. One credit costs 10 baht, so I insert 3 coins and press start. Here's where you select the number of players. Single play is the default option and it's for playing solo. Group play is for 2 players to play on the same pad, on the same cabinet. However, I do not recommend this for anyone at all. It will greatly reduce your freedom of movement and it's hard for both players to see what's on screen. Lastly, group battle allows two cabinets to connect and battle on the same song. As you can see, it's currently unavailable because you'll need two cabinets near each other. Below here, there are also five language options, Japanese, English, Korean, and two Chinese, I think. The game will then ask if you have an e-amusement pass. If you're playing casually, you do not need it right now. So you can just press start to skip. But if you really want to get deeper into it, consider buying one. Because if you don't have it, basically you don't have your player account. Without player account, you cannot buy new songs, keep them, or keep any other progress such as your high score record. A regular e-amusement pass shouldn't be that expensive and you can use the same card with all the money games. Now here is where you actually choose the play mode and it could be a little bit confusing. Here's how I would summarize it. There are three game modes in total, namely light mode, standard mode, and the premium mode. But as you can see here on this page, the light and standard mode are kind of grouped into one called basic play right here. I'll get to that in a minute. First of all, 
This shoot dance video, also known as the premium mode, is the true highlight of the game. This is the mode that allows you to shoot your own dance video using the built-in camera of Dance Rush Stardom without the need to bring any of your own equipment at all. How awesome is that? All you need is just a smartphone that can read a QR code so that it can read the link for downloading your video once you're finished. Bad news, however. As you can see here, it's listed as game mode currently unavailable. Well, to be more accurate, it has been permanently unavailable for almost 4 years already. That's right, some countries such as Thailand and the US don't have this mode because it goes against some kind of stupid law I think. And Konami never bothers to fix it. What a big shame, isn't it? Of course, there's not really any option aside from basic play for me right here. So press start again and then you'll see another user interface flaw of this game. Finally, this is the last page before you, you know, enter the game. Here's where you select between the first two modes, light mode or the standard mode. Wherever you play, the standard mode should cost more because you get to play more songs if you get enough scores and it gives you more stars. However, before you could select between these two at all, I need to remind you one thing very important. You need to press left. Yes, in order to toggle between these two options to control this square right here, you have to press left first. Sounds pretty simple, right? Believe me, I've seen actual humans leaving free credits inside the machine because they don't know how to progress from here. Cause you see that timer on the right, if you don't select anything before the time runs out, everything ends and you'll return to the very first page. So don't be like that. Press left so that you can then choose the options. For this tutorial, the light mode will do. You can play two songs in light mode and you can play two songs plus the extra stage if you get above 180% on both songs cumulatively in the standard mode. However, regardless of whichever mode you play, I highly recommend that you check the in-game tutorial first. Why? Because this will not count as a song, meaning even if you choose this one, you still get to play the two songs anyway. So this is a good way to get yourself used to how this game works. Check it out! The tutorial, represented as how to play, is always on top, there's no way you'll miss it. However, once you click it, this page will pop up where there's only one choice, so you have to press start to select this one again. It's just another example of bad UI. Now, because the narrator talks a lot and is pretty much self-explanatory, I'm just gonna stay silent for now, but I'll leave the subtitles, just watch me and follow along. Welcome to Death Rush! I'm going to show you some tips that's really cool. The stage where you're standing on, the sensor will read your foot position. The sensor reacts by just stepping on lightly. Let's walk around a bit, left and right. Your foot position will display right here. Let's get started. Let's dance. When the marker reaches the judgment line, step on the stage. Three, two, one. Now, perfect. The better your accuracy, the higher score. And All right, one more time. Three, two, one, now. Perfect. Use your left foot to step on the three, right leg. One, now. Perfect. Now both legs together. Three, two, one, now. Perfect. Miss and you lose some life. Finish your black left and you'll clear the stage. When the long marker appears, slide your foot along with it. Slide. Perfect. It's easy to play if you twist your body. Slide. Slide. Good. When the marker approaches, jump high. Try. Now you know how to move your feet. Next, we'll look at moving your body up and down. If you want to dance really cool, lower your body with the groove. If you can take it down, the gauge will turn into yellow. Take it down and sink with the marker. Down. Down. Perfect. Down. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Let's practice once again. Right. Left. After the tutorial end, remember that you still get to play at least two songs. So, I'm gonna show you just one of them. That should be enough. Let's check it out.
Once you've cleared the tutorial, it will be removed from the menu screen. So this is where real gameplay begins. For beginners, to make the most out of your dance rush, let me explain how to navigate through these modes. As you can see, if you don't have the E amusement pass, now you have only 3 main options. Select each one with either the start button or the right button. The first category is the lessons. This is where you can learn the foundational moves of the shuffle dance, such as Running Man, T-Steps, Spongebob. Although it's very helpful because they not only teach you the basics, but also how these steps are represented as the notes in the game. For absolute beginners, I do not recommend selecting this mode right away. Why? Number 1. Each lesson is very short. Yet, every single one of these counts as one song. It might not be worth it when you get only two songs for each play. Unless you're willing to spend for at least another round or have plenty of time and money at the arcade, like me. 2. You don't need to master shuffle dance yet for most songs in easy mode. So just press left to go back. And let's choose one of these two modes for your next two songs. Easy mode brings out the easiest songs only. All songs, however, will bring out every song in this game, including those that can be purchased using stars. The problem is, as you can see, there are way too many of these and it's impossible to get enough stars to purchase any song at all from your first play. So, don't waste time clicking any songs that are labeled in black. Skim over to the songs that you can see its artwork to preview what it sounds like. In Dance Rush Stardom, each song has only two difficulties, easy and normal. Switch between these two difficulties by pressing right. If you don't have any prior experience either in shuffle dance or rhythm gaming before, I do not recommend playing normal shard right away. Be careful of the timer on the top right. If it runs out, you'll be forced to play whatever song is on the screen at the moment. One way that you can delay the time if you have less than 20 seconds is long press the start button until this option pops up. By doing so, the option menu will pop up. As much as I would love to explain every option here, this, I think, could be a topic for another video. For now, the only option that matters is the first one, the speed setting, which determines the speed of the note. Listen carefully, it does not make the song goes faster, alright? It only makes those notes, you know, those uh, small rectangles and the downs and the ups approach the bottom of the screen called the judgment area faster. For those who haven't played any rhythm game before, this could be a little bit hard to explain. But for now, just trust me. Basically, if you feel that the screen is a little bit too clocky, that um, all the notes are kind of too close to each other, and it's hard to tell which comes first, which comes later, consider changing to a higher speed. On the other hand, if you realize that you're stepping too slow on many parts, consider choosing the lower speed. For beginners, I would say the recommended speed is 2 or 3. But at the end of the day, it just depends on your preference. So you should just experiment and find what's best for you. Anyhow, press start to leave this mode and you see... The time is extended to 20 seconds. So here I'm going to select Saturday Night Love on easy difficulty just to show you how fun Dance Rush can be, even on the basic level. As long as your foot is aligned horizontally with the node, you can move to step vertically anywhere on the pad. This gives much more freedom of movement than DDR. You can go all the way up to the screen or all the way down until you almost fall off the pad. For the down note, you do not have to move your feet at all. It only detects your whole body movement, so you can just crouch a little, groove your body, you know. But of course, if stepping feels more natural, that is fine as well. When you step, you can move your body down a little, so it will hit the down note naturally. L means left foot, R means right foot, but you do not have to follow these marks. The game will not punish you for using left foot on right note and vice versa. Finally, although arm or hand movements are not required to get higher score, they could definitely make your dance more fun, interesting, or more natural. 
That's why top players incorporate dance moves across so many different styles. Cause really, in Dance Rush, the freestyle possibility is endless. Damn, I love this game so much, and I hope you do too, once you're done with this tutorial, and try it for yourself. Alright, I guess that should be all for today. I would like to say thank you for Echo Karanko and Games for providing the location, and Mr. Kaiten for helping me filming this, so please check out his channel if you haven't already, and of course, thanks to all you viewers for watching this video. In case you're wondering, where is Shuffle? Where is the running matters you got from your channel? Well, I guess I have to leave that out for next time, so please subscribe, like, and share if you find this useful, and do leave suggestions or ask more questions in the comments down below. Maybe in the next video, I'm gonna make some running man tutorial for this game. Until then, stay safe and see ya. Peace.